all right guys so welcome back to the best ta on youtube best youtube channel out there guys i told you already in my last video that i am taking a short position guys as you can see i put my money where my mouth is i am currently in a short position with about twenty four thousand dollars currently 199 dollars unrealized profit guys i'm still trying to flip my day trading account from 2k into 20k within this year guys i know it sounds crazy but i'm trying my best to do it if you want to follow it guys then definitely make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell for my daily updates guys like i said i am currently in a short position called this trade also in my discord chat obviously guys let me show you real quick here is the trade that i actually took yesterday as you can see into this breakout called this um uh, called the short position yesterday in my discord chat and everyone who took this trade is currently already up in some unrealized profits if you want to get the chance to get my trading signals completely for free guys then all you have to do is just to click the first link down below in the description sign up on bitget and get some additional eight thousand dollar in deposit bonuses 15 percent of trading fees guys and like I said, next week, 20 random people will actually get the chance to get my trading signals completely for free. Zero, guys, all right? So make sure to take advantage of that, especially people living in the US. You are you ha don't need no VPN and no, um, no KYC required for trading, guys. Anyway, let's talk about the chart real quick, guys. And let, uh, like I said, let's try to reach 250 likes in today's video. Make sure to drop a like right now. Guys, so we just had... I want to show you a very interesting pattern and I want to explain you why I think that this could be a huge potential bull trap. I can be wrong about that. All right, guys, I can be wrong about that, but I am just trying to to make the right decisions with my experience, right? We don't have to win every single trade, but I am just trying my best just to teach you guys what is the most important part when it comes to trading and if you are getting another breakout to about 22 23k don't blame me please don't get into a short position because i'm talking about it this is just my opinion guys and i'm just being transparent with all of my positions anyway so what happened guys we actually had a beautiful successful bounce from 20k first of all as you can see guys 20k first of all was already a very huge support area just uh last month then we had another successful bounce right here the price broke above this double top around 21k i was already talking about it and right now as you can see we are currently breaking above it and we are definitely holding very successfully above 21,500 dollars and as you can see i already put my alert right here around 21,500 dollars just in case if the price is breaking those highs i'm definitely getting stopped out for break even guys because for me, I actually nailed the top perfectly right here. My entry points around $21,410. And even if the price is going against me right now, I'm getting already stopped out for break even and I'm losing no money already, guys. Anyway, so let me show you something very interesting, guys. So we are currently looking on the four hour time frame, right? As you can see, we have this double top and this potential breakout right now that everyone is talking about. So everyone is expecting right now that Bitcoin will continue to go up to about 22, 23K. And this could definitely happen. But let me show you something, guys. Look at this pattern right here. Look at this, guys. We had basically the same scenario in August 2022 and September 2022, guys. So basically what we had is also this triple top right here huge resistance then pull back and this and then look at this guys we had a successful breakout right so everyone was waiting until the price is breaking above twenty one thousand eight hundred dollars right what happened it happened guys it happened and at this point 100 sure that everyone on twitter was bullish oh my god bitcoin is going to twenty five thousand dollars if not next week then i, I will give you i will give away five thousand dollars if bitcoin is not going to twenty five thousand dollars it's always the same bullshit guys all right and i'm seeing the same bullshit right now again on twitter anyway what happened we we had a successful breakout to about twenty two thousand five hundred dollars everyone was bullish all right i took a short position right here and guess what who made money who made money not the breakout people not the breakout traders but all those people who had a short position opened and just covered into the support area simple as that guys all right trading is that simple you don't want to trade with the crowd always you don't want to be in the crowd always in the same direction like 70 80 90 percent of the people it's that simple it's all about psychology guys all right like i said you have you have to remember that people so this is just another example guys right this is what we are call this is what we call 
a bull trap guys this is a big big bull trap anyway and this is what i'm also expecting right now on bitcoin like i said i can be completely wrong about that please don't blame me guys please don't blame me but i am just going with my experience and just with my personal just with my personal feeling guys all right i I have no, I, I, I'm, I cannot predict with 100% where the price is going, but in my opinion, right, with my, in my opinion, this could be a huge bull trap right now. And overall, if you're looking on the bigger time frames, there nothing happened at all, guys, right? I mean, if you are going into the daily right now, we can still see that Bitcoin is just basically still consolidating in between 17,000 to about $25,000. So there is no breakout right now. This is just a small short term recovery because the S&P 500 recovered actually quite well. As you can see in the last day, we closed quite strong and it seems like we are getting a potential breakout again to about 3.94 K. But anyway, let's talk about that real quick. Let's say S&P 500 is breaking down right now and we are not able to hold up. I'm not expecting a Fed pivot. I'm not expecting a lower interest rate hikes, 50 basis point interest rate hikes, 25 basis point. I'm expecting another 75 basis point interest rate hike and I'm not expecting that good CPI numbers next week, right? I think it, it should be next week, yeah. So this is the reason why I basically took the short position, guys, simple as that. Like I said, fundamentally, there is no huge breakout right now. Reason number two is that uh, like I already mentioned, a lot of people are bullish. I don't like to trade with the crowd. And also at the same time, um, I think that we are definitely quite overextended right now. We have the daily RSI is definitely not too overextended. It is currently around 65. So there is definitely some room left towards the upside on the RSI. It's all right. Then we have the SMA lines, guys. We have the SMA lines currently. We have a breakout above the 100 SMA line. This is also quite bullish, of course, because this is actually the first time that we are trading above the 100 SMA line. Look at this. This is the blue line that I'm showing you guys. This is the first time. This is the first time that Bitcoin is breaking above the 100 SMA line since March 2022, guys. So finally, there is some bullish momentum right now. I also, of course, guys, I am also holding a lot of Bitcoins spot. But in the immediate short term, I'm just trying to take advantage of all those moves. And I'm just trying to make some money in a sideways market, guys. Right. So basically, I think if you're looking also on the four hour time frame that you can see, guys, this is why the RSI is always so powerful. When the RSI was hitting those highs around 70, 75, if you just took a short position right here, you would be already up in profits. This is why I love to trade with the RSI also, just as a information for myself if you're overextended or not guys anyway let's talk about the two different scenarios that i'm seeing right now for bitcoin guys if the price is breaking below twenty one thousand dollars i think if this previous resistance is not able to flip into support all right guys we need to flip this resistance into support right now if we are not able to do that i think the price will probably go down to about 20k again this is in my opinion the worst case scenario right now for bitcoin Otherwise, if we are getting another breakout above my alert right here, around $21,500, guys, this is the point that I am looking at right now. If we are getting a breakout, like I already said in my last video, the next potential target in this case would be this previous top right here around $21,800 and then the next one around $22,500, guys. And this could be also, in my opinion, a potential short possibility for Bitcoin. For now, I'm moving my stop loss back to my break even point just in case I am wrong. But like I said, for me, the chance is higher right now that we are getting a potential pullback to about 20K as long as we are not breaking above those levels right here, especially above this big, big resistance right over here, guys. And this would be around, let me check, this would be around, guys, $22,500. So this is basically the biggest backholder resistance that we have on Bitcoin from this summer 2022, from June, July, August 2022 guys you can see that a lot of people bought into this breakout and this is why i believe we need to break especially above twenty two thousand and five hundred dollars to get some more momentum on bitcoin guys and this is basically the reason why i'm not way way too bullish right now because everyone is screaming for a breakout bitcoin is going to twenty five thousand dollars and this is what I'm just trying to avoid, guys. I'm just trying to avoid the hype. Like I said, I can't be completely wrong. Please don't follow me or follow someone else. Do always your own research. But I would say the breakout could definitely happen. But I want to see a breakout, first of all, above 
$21,800 and then also a breakout above $22,600 and as long as I'm not seeing that there is no reason for myself to be way too bullish guys. So let me give you real quick my next potential trade setups guys and let me explain for all of you who actually want to make some money what I am I uh, what I am looking out for right now. Like I said already in the beginning of my video guys make sure to trade on BitGet Click the first link down below, get 15% of trading fees, get $8,000 bonuses. And if you did that, then join the free Telegram channel down below where you can join my trading competition team, guys, where we can win up to 100 Bitcoins in my free Telegram channel in the pinned, uh, in the pinned comments, guys. So first of all, I will stay in my short position for now with about $180 in a profit, only a very small one, I know. But I cannot take too much risk at the moment because, like I said, I'm trying to flip a 2K account into 20K. And basically, uh, what I'm looking out for right now is quite simple, guys. I will move my stop loss right now to about $21,500. Especially if we are getting a breakout, we can still... For example, let's say the price is breaking above those highs right here on the four hour time frame or above 21,500. We can still get into a potential breakout trade, for example, guys, right? So this could look something like that, let's say. Let's say the price is breaking above $21,500. We can still enter a, short, a long position right here, set a very tight stop loss, guys. And then I would probably set my take profit somewhere around $22,500 or so. This could be one potential play on Bitcoin right now, guys. All right. So like I said, we need to break out above this orange line. If I'm seeing some sideways consolidation above it, we can still take a long position, not financial advice, set a very tight stop loss and set our take profit targets somewhere around this green, above this green box right here. I would say somewhere around $22,500, guys. Otherwise, if the price is getting rejected, for example, right, if uh, the price is going especially below this purple line right here and we are not able to flip this resistance into support, guys, I will probably double down on my short position. So this ba would basically look something like that. If you want to get into a short, I would probably wait until the price is breaking up below $21,000. And then I would set my take profit maybe somewhere around this green support area and then set a very tight stop loss again above those previous highs and just try to catch the wave on the way down to about 20K, guys. Overall, I'm a bit more bearish than bullish, guys. I don't care. I'm just trying to make money. I'm not here to save anyone, guys. I'm just trying to take advantage of the sideways market. And this, this market is already very hard to trade, guys. And like I said, I'm trying to make only the best out of it. Everyone who wants to get my trade signals for free, guys, just uh, sign up with the link down below. Start trading on BitGet. Get some free additional uh, bonuses, guys. 15% of trading fees. Make sure to take advantage of that. And uh, yeah. Let's try to reach 250 likes in today's video. It takes only one second, guys. I would truly really appreciate that. Make sure to join the free Telegram channel. And with that being said, guys, see you later for another one. I'm out in peace. Bye-bye.